It was a rainy day on the practice fields in Ashburn, but it didn't matter because for the first time with the media present, wearing a burgundy and gold jersey was Carson Wentz. The new quarterback of the future for this organization looked good, showed off his big arm, and certainly has the size Ron Rivera talked about wanting this offseason as the team looked for a quarterback. His new teammates like what they see, too. He's everything you want from your starting quarterback. He's a leader, talks to every, every guy on the team, not just the receivers or the running backs, and he wants to be here and he wants to win. Really not much more I could ask from him. I thought he did some really good things, got some pretty good rapport with his guys. The thing I like is, again, it's about making good decisions. You're seeing a lot of good decisions out there right now. Strapping in for the 2022 season after a disappointing 2021 campaign, that's Curtis Samuel. He was a big money free agent wide receiver brought in last year, but injuries limited him most of the season. This year, with Wentz in town, Samuel feels like he's ready to deliver. I feel like I've always had my speed. It just was the fear of what will happen if I run fast. So like now, you know, after seeing myself do it over and over training, you know, before OTAs, it's like, I know I can do it, you know? All the excitement about the new players and the healthy players back on the field for the Commanders, one notable exception, star wide receiver Terry McLaurin as he's dealing with a contract negotiation. Everyone says don't take it personal, but your whole life is about to change, so it's a very personal experience. As a team, it's their job to get Terry for as cheap as possible to help the team out, and as Terry, you want to be paid what you feel is deserving. It's a balance in that. In addition to McLaurin, two other notable absences from Commander's OTAs. One was defensive end Montez Sweat. Ron Rivera said that Sweat has been involved during the voluntary programs and that he expects him back soon. The other, star defensive end Chase Young, the 2020 Rookie of the Year. Young is working to rehab a knee injury suffered last season and is expected back eventually. Covering the Washington Commanders in Ashburn, Virginia, I'm J.P. Finley.